In this video, we're going to be using Shannon's Soaps Mars and the Blackland Aero Razor with the Open Comb Level 4 plate. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I think we have a good one for you today. But before we get into the content, as always, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and let's get into it today because I'm pretty excited about this shave. Today, we are using Shannon Soap's Mars. And this one is a collaboration with the Razor Company, as you see there. And this one comes to you for $15.99 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a good price at $3.99 per ounce. This particular soap scent is inspired by Chanel Allure, and it smells great. I absolutely love it. Let's put the scent notes for you on the screen right there. Some of them are Italian Mandarin, Moroccan Cypress, Tonka, Musk. It comes together very nicely. I would call it off the puck, slightly under medium in scent strength, but then once you lather it, it picks up to about that mid-level. And I absolutely love the scent on this. There's a look at the soap if you're curious. The soap base consistency is soft, but not too soft. Easy to lather as always with Shannon's. I absolutely love using Shannon's, and I love these new labels. And the Chupa Copper base is uh, fantastic, by the way. It is tallow. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there because I forgot to. I love what they've done with the labels. They're a little darker now. They got the great side label on them. Shannon's is one of my favorite soaps to use. Uh, and in terms of bases, the Chupa Copper base is just awesome. I get a creamy lather every single time with almost no effort. I'll pop a lather picture for you up there. It's a very, very nice soap. And this scent is totally a winner for me. So I'm looking forward to using this today. The razor for today is the Blackland Era. And again, this is the world's first stainless steel 3D printed slash CNC machined razor. It's supposed to retail or supposed to go on sale at some point, hopefully this year. Um, I'm using the level four plate today. There will be 10 plates available when Blackland retails this razor. Your razor will come with one plate. So you get to choose whatever plate you like. Uh, and then you can buy additional ones. If you please, the blade for today is the PAA uh, Phantom Strangelet that I showed uh, yesterday. Uh, go back and watch yesterday video, yesterday's video, excuse me, tongue twisted because I'm excited <laughs> uh, if you want to learn more about that blade. But anyway, level four open comb plate today, stainless steel, 3D printed and CNC machine will retail for about $75, hopefully this year. And we look forward to using this today. And without further ado, let's just get into it because I am looking forward to this shave. I love using Shannon's. It's just, it's one of my favorites without question. Two things I want to mention while I'm doing that. We have a new Patreon supporter, Niall. Thank you so much, Niall. I really appreciate you. And I, I appreciate all your, all you Patreon supporters and all you viewers generally. Also, I want to mention our good friend, um, Taylor, um, has a GoFundMe going. He has cancer. Uh, he's a person I have met personally. I know him. And boy, those bills are piling up. So if anyone um, feels like helping in that effort, I will link his GoFundMe below. I know Taylor. Many of us in the community know Taylor. He is a good dude. They have a great family. Met his wife and daughters. And so I hope you'll help, even if it's five bucks. If you can, I rarely ask these sort of things. But, uh, you know, when we have a friend that's in need, we try to help as best we can. And again, I will link that below for you. And thank you if you're able to help. It's a really rough situation. Taylor's a relatively young man battling with with cancer and uh, he's a good dude. Again, we've met him in person and generally speaking, folks, I'll only ever ask on these charity type efforts if I know the person. I have in the past asked for people that I don't know, but I'm not going to do that um, in the future because I only want to ask you when it's somebody I know and can vouch for and I hope you'll understand that. All right. Let's get into it here. Very nice lather. No problems with Shannon's ever. The brush for today, by the way, I always forget to mention the brushes, the Ariana and Evan synthetic brush, which I like a lot. This is one of my favorite synthetic brushes. 
I don't think Pete has any more, sadly, but I really like this brush a lot. And man, with Shannon's, that creamy goodness, it just comes easily for me. For me, it's one of the easiest soaps to lather. And the Trooper Copper base is outstanding. It's It might be my favorite base, to be honest. It's it's It probably would be between this Trooper Copper base and, and A&E's um, bases. They're my two favorites to use. Uh, Sterling would be in there, too, in terms of ease of use through the roof. And I like... Uh, I like a soap that's easy to use. It doesn't require you to jump through a bunch of hoops. The ball for today, by the way, is the HCNC um, lathering ball. Now this one is the rounded sides, and I think I prefer this one, which is more of a flat sides, as you can see there. This one feels like just a little bit smaller, but it does a great job. I've been enjoying using those bowls so far. All right, let's cut this back. And let's see how we do with the era or era, whichever you prefer today and I hope you all are having a great day so far. All right, let's get into it here. Hands are a little wet, but that's okay. These uh, rubber rings, they really do help with grip. I don't think it's entirely necessary for me, but um, it, you can definitely feel more grip if you use them. And that is nice. On plate four, again, I don't find this razor to be menacing on any plate, but you get some blade feel, but it's a very smooth ride. Um, that has been my experience so far with the, the era here. And I've tried quite a few plates. If you want to see those other videos, just go back and, and uh, look for them. They are there. And I get questions every time I use this razor. Like, what does it compare to this and that? That's really hard, folks. And the reason is, you know, every, every razor has its own sort of unique, uh, set of attributes, um, the blade gap is only one uh, factor. There's other things like head geometry, blade clamping. There's all, all sorts of factors that contribute to how a razor feels or how efficient it feels. And oftentimes people want to compare, you know, how does this compare with the carve, for example? They're two completely different razors, completely different. So it's not really an apples to apples comparison. I like both razors. Both razors are great in that they offer multiple plates. And maybe in the future, Blacklin will even offer, you know, beyond the five plate. Right now, the number five plate is is the top end. And maybe in the future, they'll offer six, seven, who knows? There's certainly room to grow, and I think that's awesome. But I would call this a smooth, sort of every, every man or woman's razor so far. Because it's just smooth and in plate four i like it a lot so for me i would use probably plate five every time if not plate four that's probably where i would go if you find yourself pre preferring much more mild razors you might want to go with you know two three something like that three i think would be a good entry point for a lot of people but the four here it feels very nice very smooth and the Phantom Strange Lip Blade feels very smooth too. And by the way, I'll mention again that that blade is not a rebranded blade. It's a blade that PA had manuf manufactured per their recommendations. And it will be coming soon again. Get their app. I will link it below if you're interested. He'll put his releases in that app and information and notifications and so forth if you're interested. All right. Let's get involved here with Pass 2. And I tell you what, the Shannons on that pass was fantastic. I love the scent on this up. This is a total winner for me. This one is uh, fantastic and we have some great lather, which is sort of, for me, that's always been the case with Shannon's. One of the things that sort of set it apart, even in the years where people hadn't quite caught on, was that I always got a creamy lather really easily. Ease of use was through the roof and I was like, why is it? I don't know, it's just their formula. She's developed something that's very easy to work with for most people, maybe not everybody. Because I've heard of one or two people, you know, in response to one of my videos say, I have trouble, and I say, go watch my lathering tutorial, you know. <laughs> I show you how I do it, and it's quite easy. And I take more time in the lathering tutorial than I would, you know, take normally. So keep that in mind. I slow things down, but that is creamy goodness there. There's just no doubt about it. Look at that. Nice hydration in there. And it's not drippy, you know, it's not dripping off my face. It's just a nice, 
sort of uh, weighty. You know, the le the leather has some heft to it, and the reason it does, it's got la it's got water in it. Excuse me. Of course, it has lather in it. It's leather, <laughs> but it has water in it, and so the weight comes from the soap mixing and holding water. You know, the air, of course, isn't gonna you know generate a lot of weight. So if you have an airy lather, it's gonna be very light, and it will, you won't have that weight. But with a good creamy lather, there should be some weight to it. And again, I have many lather tutorials. Look below. The last one I did was uh, Shannon's Orange Ginger Twist, which is another excellent scent. And the Razor Company uh, sells that one. I love that one. I love this one. And Shannon's recently, their collaboration soaps with the Razor Company has been just fantastic. So I hope they'll continue to work together. Because for me, um, I think the that partnership between Shannon's and the Razor Company has really taken them a notch or two above. I think the scents that are coming out are better than they have been in the past. I think the quality is fantastic as it always has been. But I just think now we're getting some of these scents that are just fantastic. Like this one today and they released two if you're curious. Um, the other one called Venus which is great too. I'll be using that in a few days. Um, and so I'm really happy about that partnership with the Razor Company and Shannon's. Man, this is nice stuff. Plenty slick enough there. No quality problems ever. And the era again with the open comb. Um, I like it and on four it's treating me very well. But for me, I would use five. Um, because I will typically, uh, in a razor, use the most efficient plate just because that's what I prefer. Um, it's not necessarily what I need because, you know, I can get a great shave with this razor with the one plate, I guarantee it, but I prefer the feel of say the four and five. For me, that's probably where I would keep it, plate four and five. But there are people who want a um, less blade feel. And this, this razor even on five doesn't offer a ton of blade feel. It's not designed to be the most aggressive feeling razor. It's designed to appeal to a wide group or a wide, uh, number of people so it can be like one of those you know every man type of razors and i think it probably accomplishes that or will when it's released i think we'll see you never know how people are going to react um i would say for the people who want a lot of efficiency like hyper aggression like you want the most aggressive razor out out there Th that is the only group of people where I feel like this one might not, the era might not be for you. If you just feel that you need the absolute top end aggression, then I wouldn't get this one. I would just, um, you can get one of Blackland's other razors, grab a Blackbird. It's not top end efficient, but it's efficient enough to be really efficient. You know, get one of the other razors or, you know, find yourself one that you really that gives you that blade feel that you desire. But I find for me, it gives me enough blade feel to where I can feel what I'm doing, which is exactly what I like, without it feeling rough. The one thing I will say is there's nothing rough about this razor at all. And I think I've used this one maybe five times now, or and I've tried a different plate every time, and so far I've enjoyed all of them, all of them. But definitely the four and the five are for me, no question. Those are the ones I would use. So a gentleman asked me the other day, can you use the five plate for daily shaving? For me, yes. For you, I can't say. No one can ever answer for you what will work, what will work well for you or what you can do. So I can only answer it from the perspective of my skin and the way I shave and so on and so forth. And for me, yes, I could use the five every day, no problem whatsoever. It's still, um, it's not the sterling hyper aggressive, you know, razor that's it's got some really good efficiency and aggression to it, but it's efficient enough to where it will shave you well, or it will allow you to shave well. And it will definitely cut those whiskers. You see terrific residual slickness here on Shannon's, not pulling my skin there at all. Fantastic. What a great shave today. I tell you what, this is why we do it to have one of these. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have these most times. 
All right, let me uh, rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our Razor Rock Travel Alum. No stinging there, so super smooth shave. No next cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And of course, that's the way we like to do it all the time. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an exceptional shave today with Shannon's Soaps, Mars, beautiful scent, beautiful quality, beautiful price, beautiful everything. This is available at the Razor Company. I love it. Big thumbs up on that. We used the Blacklin Razors Era or Era, whichever you prefer, on level four. Nice, smooth ride once again. I've really been enjoying this razor and I'll continue to uh, try the different plates and let you folks know how I feel about it. Should be going on sale sometime this year, hopefully, if things go according to plan. We used our HCNC rounded side uh, bowl. I think I like the flat side bowl. We'll talk about this bowl in more detail in the future video. We used our Ariane and Evans synthetic brush and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And today we're gonna try to finish off the Razor Rock Irish countryside splash because we're getting close to the, the bottom there and let's see if we can <laughs> finish it off. And there we have it, last drops. Last drops, there we go. Let's get them all. There we are. Last, last, there, there it is. Every time I say last drops, more drops come out. <laughs> but anyway, there we are. Last drops on that one. Oh uh, yes, and that was an excellent shave, folks. And I hope wherever you are, you have excellent sh shaves, excuse me, as well. Wishing you many blessings. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.